Science World, Science World, every day we will learn a new thing. Instead of writing on stones, papers were invented. The bicycle made carrying easy without strenuous efforts and fatigue. Car, bus, fan, swing, computer games. Rocket takes us to the stars. Submarines sailing underwater every day. We will watch Science World, Science World. Every day we will learn a new thing. Science is like an ocean. So let's all go for a swim. Whoever makes an attempt will be able to achieve the goal. The lamp of knowledge lights our days and nights. The more you learn, the more you gain. On air, live on and air. So you will reap. Just as plants need water, the brain needs knowledge. Science this world. job isn't easy. It may look easy, but it's, it's rough. Uh, pressure to find good topics, pressure to find good guests, and life has become difficult as well. I told them a hundred times to get me a good chair. Uh, please, anyway, uh, no big deal. Uh, let's start the episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Chatterbox, the presenter. Of course, uh, the one who sits here should be the presenter. <laughs> uh, never mind. I don't want to keep you for long. Let's come to the point. Uh, indeed, the point is our new program is called Chatterbox Live, which I already present. Alhamdulillah, I brought you many things, and you'll see many wonderful things on this program. We stopped last time at... Uh, finish! Finish! We gotta cut the electricity! Oh, uh, what's the problem, Mr. Test? Uh, anyway, folks, uh, I forgot to tell you that this is Mr. Test, who's working with us in the studio. Really, I don't know what his job is. What do I do? Don't you know my job? I know about everything. You want accessories? I'll get it for you. You want clothes? I'll get it for you. You need electricity? I'll get it for you. You need me to present programs? I can do it. Uh, uh, what's that? What's going on here? Who brought that guy here? Get out or I'll come and get you out. Sorry, uh, Mr. Chatterbox. Please go on with, with your work. Uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Cooley. I don't know how things could be managed without your help. <laughs> uh, that was Mr. Cooley. He's the director, the manager, and can do just about everything as you can be quiet. How are you, Mr. Cooley? Uh, one minute and I'll be out. Come on, come on. Let's uh, work outside so we'll know how to work. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Chatterbox. Uh, please go on and enlighten us. Uh, thanks a lot, Tooley. Uh, and by the way, Tooley works with us, too, in the studio. Again, I don't know what he does, but sometimes he works as a cameraman. In a nutshell, we agree that you'll see wonderful oh. things and generally sciences are divided into... Yeah, this is a bulb that's not working. Ah, come on, Chatterbox, hurry up so we can finish and we can go home. Now, uh, Mr. Test, uh, have you forgotten that we're on air right now? And what lamp are you talking about? What's so important? Fix the lamp later. Sorry, uh, it shouldn't take more than one minute. You back again? Believe me, Test, if you come back again and appear before the camera without permission, I'll electrocute you. What? Came without permission? Well, what should I do? Not or ring the doorbell? Get away, get away! Let me finish my job! What's wrong with you two? Take that outside so we can finish. Alright, come and fix the light bulb outside. Alright, alright. But you and I are gonna settle this up outside. What? 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 SubhanAllah, what's wrong with these people? Anyway, what's important is that we said... Dear friends, uh, can any of you see anything? Anyway, it seems Mr. Tess has been electrocuted, but please don't tell anyone. He's getting used to that. <laughs> Mr. Chatterbox is crazy. It's a new program called Mr. Chatterbox Live. Did you understand anything that he said? He talks so much and so fast, I can't understand. Tess is funny as well. Mr. Chatterbox, too. It looks like it's going to be a beneficial program. And it talks about science mainly. Who's going to talk about science? Chatterbox? I don't think so. But I just wonder what he's going to talk about today. Since Test was electrocuted, 
I'd probably say it's going to be about electricity. That's a serious topic. That's right. You saw what happened to test. But I tell you something, electricity is so important. It enters every part of our lives, in every field. Have a look at streets, homes, and factories. You'll find that these can't run without electricity. Electricity can be found in all fields of sciences. Although electricity is very important in our lives, it's very dangerous on the other hand. That means you should be very careful when you plug in a socket and never touch bare wires. All of this should be done by adults or electricians. Yes, unlike Test. How did he get that name? Of course he gave himself that name, because he likes to test everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's find out the story of electricity. Electricity. When we hear the word electricity, we remember radios, computers, and other useful devices. In addition, electricity is connected with many jobs that the human body performs, such as transferring data from and to the brain. Such signals help the brain to specify what the eyes see, what the ears hear, and what the fingers touch. Due to Allah's virtue, alhamdulillah, scholars manage to utilize electricity in order to run different kinds of businesses. Electricity made a great contribution that changed people's lives. It was used in producing light, heat, and mechanism. There was a great demand for electricity to the extent that people can't imagine their lives without it. Most of our life spheres depend on the electric energy where the inhabitants of the industrial countries use a lot of devices that use electric energy. All materials in the universe have something called the electric charge and the current of which when goes through wires is called electricity. Energy is linked to the transmittance of this current. So once this current goes through an electric device, the electric energy will be changed to useful forms. For example, it changes to a heating energy in cookers, into a light in lamps, and so on. In order to use the electric power, the electric devices should be connected to the source of energy. A complementary track should be built for the electric current so that it could move from the electricity source to the devices and then back to the source. This track is called the electric circle. The electric current could be controlled through the electric switch and it is the easiest way to stop electric current that goes through an electric circle. People should be cautious when using electricity as it is a dangerous element in people's lives as well. As for the sources of the electric energy, most of the electric energy comes through the power stations that burn fuel such as coal, oil, and natural gas. A part of this electric energy comes through nuclear stations and water dams as well. Very little amounts comes through the sun cells, windmills, and other sources. A lot of scholars hope that the use of new electric appliances would decrease the high demand for electricity. For example, advanced computer systems would be able to control the lighting systems. Therefore, the normal lamps would use a certain amount of energy. However, with this new system with computers, they would use one-fifth of the electric energy that these lamps use. Oh, doctor! Doctor! Big scholar! Where did he go? You, doctor! You, doctor, who invented all the stuff we don't need! Has he disappeared or what? Has he disappeared? Why did I take this job in the first place? I could have found something easier than this. I said, I'm wa alaikum, creature. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Why'd you, why'd you call me a creature? Aren't you a creature? 
And you don't know that you're a creature? No, no, I'm not a creature. I'm Eyeball. I'm the assistant of the genius scholar Doctor Invention. So what? He's a creature too. I told you I'm not a creature, you got it? Aren't you standing in place now? Yes. This is our lab. That's it then. This means that you're a creature in the lab. Now where's Doctor Invention? Huh? Who? Who's this speaking? Uh, uh, where were you, Doctor? Who told you to go down there like that? And what business is it of yours? Who is this? <laughs> uh, who's with me? No one's with me. Uh, who's with you? Come on, Doctor. Don't you remember me? It's Tootie from the Chatterbox Live show. Huh? Tootie? What is that? What does this name mean? What do you want, Tootie? The power went off in the studio. They told me that somebody here could fix the problem. Is there somebody who could manage that? Maybe. What kind of electricity went off? The electricity. The electricity. Don't you understand what electricity? Of course I understand. It is one of my inventions I made a long time ago. What is that invention that you made a long time ago? Electricity. You mean electricity that goes through wires and brings light? You invented it? Of course I did. What? You don't believe me? Here are the wires. Do you see them? Do you see them? Electricity! Yes, electricity! Why are you so surprised? It's me, Dr. Invention, who invented everything. Do you not understand? And I'm his assistant. Did you buy him ready? Or did you invent him too? Oh, hey, what are you talking about? Uh, do you think I'm some kind of pancake or something? Forgive me, little creature. Don't get upset. I told you don't call me a creature. Yeah, Allah, look, uh, let's finish, Doctor. Didn't you invent electricity as you claim? Definitely. Positive and negative poles are known. Okay, uh, please, bring us someone who can fix the problem as the program should be broadcast in two years. You are mistaken, sir. Here we invent things, not fix them. This isn't a workshop, it is a lab. Lab means analysis and experiments. Analysis and experiments? Oh, people, oh, people. Do these people look like they're into analysis and experiments? Yeah, that's right. I'm Mr. Gold, one of the biggest businessmen in the northern part of the globe. Yep. And I'm co-partner with Mr. Silver, one of the greatest businessmen in the southern part of the globe. What's that? Mr. Silver? <laughs> He's one of the most successful businessmen around. Yeah. I've known him for about five years from the equator. Yeah, he had some customs problems. Yeah. He was trying to smuggle some pipes that suck ice from the North Pole and take it to the latitude. Uh-huh. And it would take direct temperature from the equator to the North Pole. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to do that. Yeah, there were some losses. Yes. But that's what happens sometimes. Actually, I don't think I've participated in any project that was successful. What? Hey, take it easy, take it easy. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, Sylvie. Relax. Uh, excuse me, please. I've got to go right now. Yeah, my partner, Mr. Silva, just came in and we've got a new project to lose. Uh, I, I mean, uh, to embark upon. Yeah, yeah. Well, how you doing, Goldie? How are you doing? Uh, you okay? Great. How's your morning? Uh, who were you narrating your life story to? <laughs> no, it was a wrong number. But I said it's a good chance to get in some chit-chat until you come. Oh, okay. So then that means that he called you? No, 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 no. Actually, it was me who made the call. Uh, I think I woke him up anyway. Oh, okay, Goldie. Uh, forget about that mm -hmm. guy anyway for now. Tell me about your project. How's this going? <laughs> Frankly, I've got a great project for you, Sylvie, and that's the reason I've come today. But first, mm -hmm. tell me, what do you want to drink? What are you drinking? No need for that. I mean, uh, no need for sugary coffee so early in the morning. Water, cold. Oh, okay, 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 no problem. Best we just come right to the point. Okay, go ahead. Look, Sylvie, I'm deeply thinking about generating energy. I don't get it. Uh, why don't you break it down for me? Look, there are generators that generate electricity, right? Exactly the same as water run through pipes. Right. We have water in the pipes and electricity in the generators. Right, Goldie. Okay. Leave the issue of the pipes and focus on the generators. 
Now we'll try to find some generators that would generate electricity for us. We will take the electricity and deliver it to the people in their homes. In this way, we'll first buy electricity and then use it instead of using it first and pay for it later. Mashallah, marvelous. Uh, but tell me, how are we going to sell it? Well, it depends on some... How much do you want? We'll have some small bottles and some big ones, too. In addition, we'll have some family-sized bottles. Uh-huh. Uh, what we can do, we can have a competition, too. Can you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whenever you mm -hmm. consume 500 kilowatts, you'll mm -hmm. win a free bottle of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> and when the electricity goes off, all you got to do is get the bottle from the refrigerator and boom, 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 you've got electricity. <laughs> <laughs> SubhanAllah, wow, you've got some great ideas, brother. Uh, you mm -hmm. have to excuse me, uh, I've got to go mm -hmm. now before it gets dark. You see, electricity went off in my house. Is that right? I can't believe that. Here, take this with you. What's this? It's a bottle of electricity. <laughs> Science World. Science World. Every day we will learn a new thing. Science is like an ocean. So let's all go for a swim. Whoever makes an attempt will be able to achieve the goal. The lamp of knowledge Lights are days and nights The more you learn, the more you gain As you sow, you will reap Just as plants need water The brain needs knowledge Science world